I've got a bunch of little projects that I've done over time that are fun and easy to do. This one is a, is a battery charger hack that's, that's really cheap. You can do it for 10 or $12. And you start by buying one of these. It comes out of China. It's just a solar LED uh, light set. You know, there's, here's what's in it. Uh, this is the charger unit here, which is that. Uh, then it has a plug-in base and, and a string of about 50 lights. So you can use the, the, the stake or, or not, it doesn't matter. I just got it here without it. But the first thing you're going to do is cut off these lights. I'm going to show you what it will do. You can charge anything from a couple of volts up to a 14 volt battery pack. Uh, it's pretty interesting and it's just a, a, a real simple fix. So that's the box. And here's the unit. And on the back, you've got, of course, you've got your lid for your rechargeable battery. Uh, and an on and off switch. Right now it's in the off position. And I like to use these uh, Duracell rechargeables. They're, it's just, you know, they're all double A's. They're, they're just uh, 1.2 volts. So in a pack like this that holds 8, you've got 9.6 volts. But they'll actually charge up to around 10 volts and hold there pretty well. I've used these for about three or four years and they're nickel metal hydride. So, you know, they just they just keep charging over and over and over. They're really good batteries, so I would I would suggest you go with a, a good quality rechargeable nickel metal hydride. And that's in this uh, charger unit, the one that's in the back of that too. So anyway, you start with that. And first thing you want to do, let me see, maybe I can zoom in a little bit here for you. If that helps any of this. Again, this camera is not the clearest of all. Okay, so... So there's the, there's the battery holder there for the single AA. Uh, here's, the, here's the solar cell here and the two leads, positive and negative, coming off of it onto the little circuit board. Now, first one, thing you want to do is cut off that wire that has the string of 50 and put in a red and black so you can know what the polarity is there. And uh, just connect it where it was connected before. But before you put that in, put uh, two little diodes uh, on each line with the the um, with the flow going in the right direction for the diode. I used uh, silicon switching diodes. They're they're forty one forty eight. It's it's real common, and the reason that I like those is because they're they're primarily meant for a real low current amp, a, uh, applications, and the leakage on those is like twenty five uh, nano amps. So. You know, if you've got if you've got a charge in this battery or a charge in, in a battery pack or whatever, they're not just going to drain through this thing with that uh, low of leakage. So what I did is I put those in line to the wires here. Those uh, uh, little uh, sorry silicon switching diodes, and then I've got two more connected, and one is one is. Let me get this where you can see it here. One is connected right here and goes straight to the negative. Of the battery and the other one is connected where the solar cell comes into the circuit board and goes up to the positive and uh, and then across the two leads here that that are going out to your your charging wires I've just got a tiny little capacitor this one happens to be 10 volts 3.3 microfarads but you can vary that I just had some little ones laying around and this one turned out to be really good that's it that's all you got to do that's that's the, as simple as that. Now let me show you what it does. I'll try to make this quick. Okay, it's uh, it's off right. Yeah, it's off right now. So let's just turn it to the on position. Oh, oh with the uh, extra diodes in there, it'll charge. The solar cell will charge the uh, little internal battery, whether it's in the on position or off position, and that's kind of why I wanted to do that. Otherwise, it's only going to charge the big pack in the on position. So here's what we got. Let me just show you. Here, make this connection. Here, did you see? You didn't see that. Okay, I just connected the the leads of this to to the uh, the meter here. And right now we're showing 1.24 volts, which would be right. That's the uh, that's the power pretty much coming off of that one little internal battery inside the the charger unit. Now, if we cover this up, I'll cover it with my hand and just watch. You see what it's doing? 14, 15 volts, 1505, 1506. See, it jumps right up. So, pretty easy to, to trickle charge a, a 14 volt 
uh, drill pack if you want to do that. Now, now granted, it's only going to take whatever energy has been stored in the AA in here, and it's got three transistors on that circuit board, so it pumps up the voltage, and then it's just going to trickle charge into your into your battery pack like this. And it may not charge it all the way. It just depends on how much you've drained it. This one right now is about 8.7 volts, and I'll show you that. Let's disconnect these. And let me just bring in a couple more leads here, make it easier. Okay, so there's the there's the voltage, 8.6, 8.7 volts for whatever's in that. Uh, that's what's in this this uh, pack of AA rechargeables right now. So now we'll keep it at that. Let me zoom out so you can see what's going on here. And we'll just go ahead and take these two little leads and connect them. Okay, now you've still got your 8.7 volts on the meter because the solar cell is just, it's still engaged because my overhead fluorescent lights are, are keeping it on. So it's kind of cool because if you get a cloudy day or something and it's charging, the minute it gets, if you've got a load connected to it, a, a charging pack load, uh, the minute it gets a little too dark, that'll kick on and start charging this. If the sun comes back out, if it's just a you know, rainy day or cloudy day, then uh, uh, it'll go back to charging a little battery inside there. So it flip-flops, so the dials are really good for that. All right, so now let me zoom back in here and show you there's the battery voltage on that, and we cover up cover up the solar cell, and now look at the battery. See, it's covered, and we're, we're connected to the battery pack, so that is the voltage rising into that pack and because the current is so low you're not going to overcharge anything I mean it's just trickling it in with just high voltage and over time it charges it up pretty nice so just let it sit overnight and that uh, one battery that's charged up in there will drain down this this may go up to 11 volts it's not going to hurt anything for this for this pack that normally hangs in there between 9.6 and 10 volts it'll charge it up and uh, or, or close to a full charge, like I said, depending on how much you've drained the pack itself. So um, it'll top it off, and then you're ready for the next day. But for 10 or $12 to be able to do that and charge other size batteries in between, it's pretty fantastic. Now you can see that's 1022. Now if you take this off, now the capacitor is going to bleed down and keep dumping what it's got into these uh, batteries here. So as it bleeds down, you can see the meter dropping. I mean, we only had it charging for just a few seconds, so it's not going to do a whole lot. But it'll it'll start coming down and gets to a point and it starts going slow. But uh, that's it. That's it. A really cool, really simple. Anybody can do this. Just like I said, buy one of these uh, little boxes of these things and and hack it. Super easy. Thanks.